Mister? Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Get out of my face, Nord Trash. Oh, I... Okay. You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of sh It's been a while since we've done a genuine Skyrim region log video on the channel. I won't count Solstein because the majority of you had prompt reactions to a certain, uh... We also had our friend DDM create a plugin that resets our skills to level 1 every 5 seconds. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, we'll rework this one and try it at a later date. I thought to myself, why not bring this series back to its rags to riches roots by starting in the not racist town of Windhelm, filled with a welcoming population of not racist, proud individuals who want nothing but the not racist best for everyone who sets foot in their not racist town. Today, I'm going to be confining myself to the city of Windhelm and showing you just how much fun you can possibly squeeze out of this snowy northern town split into two sides. In this guide, you'll be learning how to survive in Windhelm as a dark elf using unique survival skills like junk fishing, market exploitation, and petty thievery. We're also going to be doing a deep dive into the single wildest quest ever featured in this series, a quest notably known to many as the most broken quest in all of Skyrim. All this and more in an effort to once again answer the question, can you play Skyrim without leaving Windhelm? Okay, so let's talk about the mammoth in the room here. The Nords of Windhelm, they don't like Dark Elves. Almost to the point where you'd think that most of them had their entire worldview shaped by their first playthrough of Morrowind. No, 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 not, 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 th not that they believed melee weapons are made of air. More so, I'm thinking in line with... Peasant, go away. Filthy sweat. Eat quickly, Outlander, or go... We end all talk now. You have no manners. Ah, yeah, the, uh... That stuff. Look, we could get into a whole manner of arguments on the racial politics of the Elder Scrolls universe, but to sum it all up for you if you want the short version... Um, hi, uh, excuse me, Mr. Howard? Yes. Uh, how much racism did you want us to put in this game again? Yes. So there you have it. Everyone hates everyone in these games, and usually for incredibly stupid reasons, and there's no need to single out any- Oh my god, they are just Morrowind players. So how's it going, rightful owners of Skyrim? I hope you're sticking it to the Empire. Putting all that to the side, you've just landed yourself in this city, so walk about, see what you might find. Wow, I can't wait to meet all sorts of new, kind people. Maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Ugh, Nords. Am I right? You know a Nord that isn't rude? That's right, it's today's video sponsor, Nord VP. <laughs> you know, I've never actually been into the Windhelm Jail, and I gotta say, aesthetically, this is by far the scariest jail in all of Skyrim. They've got a torture device in the corner, loose buckets. Oh god, they have loose buckets. Yeah, it's not a torture device, it's actually, uh... Ulfric is really into BDSM. All right, rough start. You've already been to jail, but as we've learned by now, when you have absolutely no clothes, cash, or self-esteem left, going to prison is technically profitable in this game because you'll come out with some rags and a lockpick. And we got a free lockpick. How do you get a free lockpick just for going to jail? Do they give it to every prisoner and just dare them? Hey, break out if you want to try it. Not everyone in Windhelm totally sucks, by the way. You'll find some hidden gems. You one of those... Skyrim for the Nords types? Yes, outsiders like me have no place here. <laughs> I'll just accept it. Then you're a fool. Okay, never mind. This guy sucks too. Now, he does have a quest, but it'll take us out of town, so no go there. And you know, to be frank, Windhelm is a city that I've barely spent any time in during casual playthroughs. I don't know a whole lot about this place other than Ulfric and that kid who makes a custom Ouija board. <laughs> Just start dumping it everywhere. He still hasn't noticed. He's so committed to this prayer. I'm gonna keep it real with everyone. This is the fourth main Skyrim city in this series, and aside from a few activities, steer clear. This place is certified boring, but our goal here is to extract as much fun as we can, so here's how you can start, I guess. Meet Revan. He's located in the Grey Quarter, which is where, you guessed it, all the Dark Elves live. They really lay it on thick here, don't they? The Grey Quarter is located just south of the Stone Quarter, and slightly east of the 
actually, I have a dark elf friend, so quarter. Revan is a shopkeeper in town and your first important point of contact. He's got a quest involving someone who sold him a stolen ring and instead of just, you know, returning the item to its rightful owner, he'd rather do the normal thing and hire this random guy who just teleported here to break into the victim's house and stash the ring. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. All right, he makes a fair point. Stash the ring, return to Revan, and damn, 400 gold as a quest reward. All right, this is more than enough gold to get started with the strategy we haven't used in quite a bit. We're gonna steal some speech experience. Of course, bouncing between paying for speech, pickpocketing, and just going between the two constantly, you'll eventually become a suave talker. Now, hey, don't go too crazy stealing speech experience, all right? Remember, aside from an assault charge, we've still got a pretty clean record, and we always wanna start these adventures looking for good, honest, fair work. So grab yourself a fishing rod and head down to the docks because we're finally going to do it in this series. We're finally going to make our fortune as an honest laborer. We're not going to fall prey to any cheap money tactics or game breaking loops. This is the video where we finally get to say we're here to teach you a lesson. Oh fuck, not again. No, oh my god, why every video do we have to go through this? The guards won't do anything. All I have is my fucking fishing rod. All I have is my fishing rod. We can get out of this fight. I'm going to win this fight easily. Burn! Only a matter of time. You walked yourself into this mess. Put that down. Okay, if you say so, officer. In an effort to find some form of lawful work, I also pilfered as many salt piles and raw food as I could beforehand, thus leading to these guys attacking me. You might say that that's theft, but once you combine the stolen ingredients to create something new, everyone knows it's finders keepers at that point, and you've wiped your slate clean of any wrongdoing. Might as well grab any leather strips and smithing materials you find along the way too. I shouldn't have to say this, but these rules do not apply in real life. You can't just steal wood supply from a carpentry store, build furniture using that material, Material and sell rocking chairs on the internet to launder the stolen goods. Unless, look, all I'm saying is if you do go out and steal raw materials for processing into goods, that's kind of sick, not gonna lie, but I bear no responsibility for the rise in wicker-based crime sweeping the nation. This makes us four for four in getting attacked by hired thugs in every single one of these videos. Of course, a great catalyst for your bank account, but isn't there just so much more honor in being a chef, cooking up your raw ingredients and fish for a nice little... 17 gold coins. And thus, all dreams of being a fish shefferman have gone out the window. Genuine question, but how in the fuck does anyone outside of the tavern owners in this universe make a living fishing, cooking, or hunting? I'm baffled. See, what you'll learn quickly about fishing in Skyrim, the real treasure isn't the fish. No, no, screw that. Fishing is out, junking is in. It's always the Arctic Grayling. There's gotta be something else out here. Whoa, 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 what, do you see that? Those are illegal fish maneuvers. Reprimand that salmon. Once you've caught several fish, you can feel free to either sell them or just deposit them in the nearest trash bin, because while you might think that you've reached the end of this day's haul when you start casting your line out only to retrieve a bucket, lantern, or any of the other weapons in the board game clue, you've actually just begun the real grind of hunting for weapons, armor, and most importantly, enchanted items. Whoa, here we go! Hide boots, okay, we got some armor. We can sell boots for more than we can sell fish for, which is really stupid, really dumb that fishing is more profitable if you don't catch fish. Steel, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Son, we're going out fishing this weekend. All right, Pa. Are we going for pike? Salmon? Walleye? Nah. I wouldn't normally suggest fishing for 30 minutes straight as most people don't have a Twitch chat that they can talk to the whole time to keep them distracted from the monotony of watching the exact same animation over and over and over again. Although people do still play RuneScape for a reason. I've railed on the fishing addition to this game quite a bit in the past, but I think I've found a new appreciation for it when hunting for decent loot as the reward isn't awful and I can sit back and regale an audience with enchanting rants about QVC advertisements. After a half hour, your inventory should look something like this. 
Now out of all this junk, the best items that you'll find are enchanted rings. They're quite powerful and they sell for a good amount. Overall, this will net you a few hundred gold, but more importantly, the disenchantable items for your future business. More on that later. There's two enchanting tables, one in the marketplace and one in the palace. You should take at least one trip to the palace though, because nothing says anarchy like aimlessly walking about a place you clearly don't belong in. <laughs> Two military commanders discussing secret battle plans and just some random schmuck walks in here with the fishing rod. Uh, oh, oh god, am I in trouble? No lollygagging. Thank god I'm only breaking and entering, not lollygagging. I do the cooking and- He seemed so excited though to tell me about his job. I do the cooking and cleaning. Isn't that fun? No, it's not. Now all I need is a soul gem. I don't think they're filled. Oh, uh. Did you not see that? Now that you've learned a few enchantments, you can head back to the marketplace where we're gonna really get started with the- Hold it there. Keep your distance. You wanna be a cop in this town? Well, first things first. No one appreciates your work. At least not here. Not looking like that, rookie. Why am I a skooma addict, you might ask? No, it's not because I'm a dark elf. Shut up. Let me take you back to that day. The day it all happened. What happened to her butt? Is that what's been happening to the person I've been pickpocketing this whole time? It was supposed to be a simple job. Easy job. Anything but. Looks like she was stabbed and then cut apart. First victim was a young adult female. I arrived on scene and professionally examined the cadaver. Oh, damn. Ooh, that's rough. Hey, she has eight gold. And some booze. All right. <laughs> Which is... I am collecting evidence as part of the investigation. Initial witness investigation was interesting. It's tough to stay professional in that kind of environment. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. Mm, I noticed that as well. I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. You have the squarest head I think I've ever seen. Is that Steve from Minecraft? He's undercover. I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this when I got here. You guys are useless. You didn't add anything to the conversation at all. <laughs> if you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You bet your ass I wanted that job. Head investigator, a title you could hang up on your wall. I wanted to flip that script that Dark Elves couldn't hold positions of power here. Change the narrative, so to speak. I certainly was qualified. We've assigned you our top operative on this mission. He's caught over 500 pounds worth of equipment, buckets, Bottles and trash out of the river. Our carbon footprint has dropped 50% since he's arrived. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. Now there's one problem with this story so far, Rook. Something that ain't adding up. It's way too long to keep this film noir bit up the entire time, so let's get back to the normal stuff. Mm -hmm. It appears that there is blood on this tablet. Ooh, yes, now that is way more my style. Where were we? Um, ah, here we go. You might be thinking the next best step is to continue chasing leads like talking to the medical examiner. Have you noticed anything strange about the body? Well, she's dead. This isn't a joking matter, Helgrid. Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. It's an embalming tool. It's the blacksmith. 100%. Dude, aren't you like an expert on Skyrim? How do you not know who it is right away? Shut up. Shut up. Shut, shut, don't even go there. Okay, so, I mean, she died here. Why was there like an explosion of blood here? You'll eventually learn there's no point in talking to any witnesses, guards, or doing any sort of real investigation. In fact, you might think the people of Windhelm deserve all of this for missing the easiest lead in serial killer investigation history. So did she get shot? It, it looks like they used a shotgun. Like, bam, she got blasted here. 12 gauge. I feel like this was the most obvious lead, yet none of us followed it. God, this is the worst group of guards ever. Another explosion. What happened? She lost like two liters of blood every 10 feet. Continue following the most obvious trail of evidence in forensics history until you reach the most obvious serial killer house in serial killer history. What is this house? All right, this is eerie. This is very creepy. They really should have hired an interior decorator. You know, just because you're a psychopathic serial killer doesn't mean that you can't afford a vacuum. 
I don't know, get one of those handheld Swiffers? Knock some of the cobwebs out of here? Don't they have house inspections or something in this city? I don't know, like a homeowners association? This is actually how I stored my pots and pans when I was in college. <laughs> I just... The shelf is filled with more of these butcher flyers from around the city. One pile looks misshapen. I missed it here, but that misshapen pile of flyers is important. We'll have to come back later. Open the closet back panel into Dennis Reynolds' lovemaking room where you'll come across a notebook containing some really vague, ooh, I'm a mage and I'm killing people for a complex spell mumbo jumbo. Chat with it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno regarding the evidence and I guess case closed? Really? The court mage? It's so underwhelming. Not to mention it just makes absolutely no sense. There's no evidence. We didn't find anything. There's no proof. It was just a notebook about magic. What if the notebook was about hull repair on a dinghy? Would we go out to the wharf and arrest every single sailor that's out there? That's quite an accusation. I assume you have proof. We have evidence of necromancy and found his amulet. When did I find his amulet? See, that's the thing. I never did. The law in Windhelm is applied shakily at best. Woundfirth shall be apprehended. What? That's it? You're gonna have to fight back that feeling of disappointment because this isn't everything this quest has in store, but I can't quite spoil it yet. What is the meaning of this? We are wise to your scheming, you coward. Has the whole city lost their brains? Make your excuses from the bloodworks, wizard. Get him out of my sight. Yes, sir. In the meantime, while you enjoy the spoils of being known as the guy who brought down the butcher, this guard's an idiot. I'm getting you out of here. You're a bad sneak. Hey, douchebag, I just unlocked your cell. I'd explain my research, but you'd just be confused. Why are you insulting me? I'm trying to free you. There really aren't any. Nobody seems to care in this town. You should be at a point where you can craft enchanted items for sale. Remember that business we were talking about before? I won't sugarcoat this part. What I'm about to show you is my incredibly boring and tedious method of crafting grinding in Windhelm. To make things a bit more interesting, let's extrapolate at the end and see how long it'd take us to become a millionaire. This loop doesn't necessarily destroy the game, it just turns it into Quick Loading Simulator 2022. You'll start by heading back to our friend Revan, buying several filled petty soul gems, petty and filled being the modus operandi here. If Revan doesn't have any, quick save, punch him in the face, quick load, and his inventory will reset. You might think that's cheap, but I think since it achieves the same effect as just waiting for 24 to 72 hours in game, but a bit quicker, it's fair play. You won't be loaded at this point, and the first few runs might not net you a profit, but stack as many soul gems as you can afford while leaving a few hundred gold left over. After that, you have two options, the fast, expensive, good for grinding experience way, and the slower, significantly cheaper, good for your wallet path. The fast way is to just buy iron ingots straight up from the blacksmith. The slow way that saves quite a lot of money is to buy all of the blacksmith's iron ore and do that face punchy, quick loady thing again. Turning the ore into ingots will save you roughly 12 gold for each ingot you make. Make sure to snag some leather or animal pelts to make into leather strips too. Now you can start crafting battle axes. I chose battle axes just because I found that those had the best overall yield in terms of profit for each run, but I'm no expert and I could be completely wrong. I had a lot of people telling me to try out daggers, but I just found personally that battle axes gave me a decent amount of cash back. And this isn't a scientific process, so I don't feel like proving myself wrong here. Now you've got some battle axes, pop over to the enchanting table in the corner, get really cracked at navigating this menu, and enchant all of your battle axes, sell them, and start the entire process over again. Like I said, not too fun. Even more not fun because I spent hours doing this until enchanting level 100. It's finally over. We finally made it to 100 enchanting. You won't even start profiting much until you get several speech perks under your belt either, so make sure to take some breaks in between all the crafting to pickpocket Revan's knowledge on human interaction. If you need a quick boost though, you could just donate to the racist at the front gate who kindly greets you when you first get into town. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Every Good day. This will grant you a bonus in persuasion, increasing your speech by 10 points. So how long does it take to become a millionaire with this method? We'll answer that question in a bit, because you just heard the squelch of another blade writhing inside of someone's torso. <gasps> You can't leave the game, Rook. Although, what do you mean this isn't my actual voice? Shut up, I'm doing- uh She's realized you really are brain damaged. So what are we doing? Is anybody gonna say anything or are we just gonna look? 
I tend to think it's a little weird. I mean, checking one time that, you know, they're not breathing anymore, that's fine. But uh, just kind of hovering about, <laughs> it's weird. Uh, Keep your hands to yourself. Me? Me! Oh my God. The fastest I've ever quick saved in my life. Me? Me. They're feeling up a dead body right now. Someone... Captain Lonely Gale has been avoiding me. I just know it. Aren't, aren't you dialed in on all the murders and... We had a conversation in the book. We were... I thought we were a team. The townsfolk call me Captain because I used to be a sailor. Captain Lonely Gale has been avoiding me. I just know it. Something's not adding up here. <laughs> I love this game. Much to my shock, the zero evidence that we had to incriminate the mage actually turns out he's not the killer. You said the city was safe now. How could this have happened? Literally the furthest thing from what actually happened. I tried to free the guy. In fact, I did free him, but I, you must have gaslit him into believing he's actually the killer because he didn't want to escape. <laughs> okay, first off, don't put words in my mouth. I never said the city was safe. Secondly, I've already caught the murderer. I just had to wait for the weird arbitrary forces in our universe that would allow me to tell you that I found the murderer. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. You can find the real culprit on accident. I was poking around everyone's houses looking for some soon to be legal raw materials and stumbled upon this chest up the stairs in Calixto's house. The smoking gun to solve the entire case, but Windhelm law doesn't work that way. When the evidence is shaky, throw them directly in the slammer. No trial. Clear and concise, we're gonna need to let a few things play out. You know, lots of red tape involved. All right, well, even though I already presented the evidence to Woundforth when I first found it, you'll have to chat with him to continue the investigation that you've already solved. I should point out here as well that a lot of people don't even get to this point in the quest. You can look online, just type in blood on the ice, bugs and you'll find a bunch of threads forum posts and just a whole bunch of people complaining about how broken this quest is and how hard it is to set up and continue playing looks like you aren't such a sharp investigator after all mm, if i did not need you what made you think i was to blame in the first place i'm sorry <laughs> i have very limited dialogue options in this quest what exactly did this amulet look like wouldn't know, still haven't found it. I guess Calixto was wrong. When did we consult Calixto? Here's where the brokenness of this quest really shines. I never actually talked to Calixto, but apparently the quest just kind of assumes that you've A, found the amulet, and B, brought it to Calixto. Although I never noticed anything that would have pushed me towards bringing it to Calixto to begin with. But none of this should fucking matter because I fucking went into his place and found the fucking chest with all the fucking evidence in it and he's guilty and I know that- Keep watching the Stone Quarter tomorrow night. That's almost certainly where the killer will strike next. Oh, bravo, Woundforth. Yeah, just solved the whole mystery for you. Unbelievable that he gets to sit here in his cell and act like he did something. I solved the mystery, it's my case. Regardless, put your pride aside and go out on patrol near the marketplace. Prepare yourself for the dumbest murder scene to ever play out in any medium I have ever watched, played, or listened to. What? Catch the murderer? What did I just miss? What? Who's dead? Oh God, how I, I was wandering through. How did I miss him? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a sec. I'm not letting him get away with this. You mean to tell me that the mastermind serial killer nicknamed The Butcher, who just the mere mention of their name strikes fear into every single person in town, who the guards claim they're stretched too thin to chase after, who lives in a dilapidated McMansion, that same mansion not available on any registry in town because I don't think registries exist, although they probably should in a city with a population of 56, who poses as a museum curator and who's built a reputation around town for months, keeping every citizen sleeping with one eye open just up and says, ah, screw it, and kills someone in the middle of the day no one chases after them, no one mentions it. What is going on here? This can't get any dumber, can it? Is he just running back to his house? He was doing so well. He was really good at this. Like, come on, man. I know where your house is. Calm down. Okay. What did I ever do to you? You're a Maybe he's also investigating. I think there's more to this story than meets the eye. I'm gonna catch him. It's not even nighttime. I mean, it's broad daylight. Where are the guards? I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. 
What happened? What a waste. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, now it's a big deal. Quick, arrest me. Arrest this man. He bonked me with the fishing pole. Go f yourself. This is out of control. <laughs> I can unironically say for the first time in this entire series, I live in a society. You want to help me, guard? Most wanted killer in town? No, just let him run. You just lay out, let him walk away. You know, after countless hours in this city, I started to think maybe the Nords aren't really as bad as people say. Well, crimes against Skyrim and your people. What say you in your defense? Fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. Oh, cookware, nice. Another good. If taking out the greatest terror this city has ever seen won't give you the respect you deserve, maybe you can fulfill all that emptiness in your soul with unbearably large sums of money. In the background of all that sleuthing, our dark elf friend has spent five hours running the loop I showed you until profitability, spending every perk point possible within the enchanting and speech skill trees. I've calculated that you can make roughly 750 gold for two enchanted battle axes. At that price, it'll take roughly 2,666 and two-thirds battle axes to reach one million gold, and at roughly three minutes to acquire four filled soul gems, purchase iron ingots, craft some axes, enchant those axes, sell, punch, and sell again. 666 and two thirds loops. At three minutes per loop, you're looking at a max efficiency millionaire time of 33 hours and 20 minutes if you can avoid all other responsibilities in life. Remember that this is with speech at level 50, so it's possible to make that million even faster, but I'm guessing that you'd rather actually live in Windhelm than attempt to do this. So right, we've cracked the code to becoming a gluttonous millionaire in the city of Windhelm, and maybe it does send a message that we can dominate the Nord economy as a legitimate business person, but now that you've reached apex predator levels of capital gain, the only logical next step for a titan of wealth who's out of touch with the basic needs of the average civilian and has completely forgotten the people that helped get them to this point is to sign up for a career in representative democracy. <laughs> Well, more of a true majority rules democracy, but implementing your own political culling system in Windhelm will surely help rid this place of all who will stand in your way to social dominance. You'll have to come up with your own system for this, but conduct some interviews around town and make a gut call on who stays and who goes. I employed my Twitch chat to let their voices be heard and help me create a perfect Windhelm for all. If the NPC in question is voted to be eliminated, I'll spin a wheel deciding how they get eliminated. God, I love democracy. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would have or a thousand shields. How does Angle die? <laughs> Sophie, you might want to get out of here. <laughs> Unless you want to be on the wheel of death, Sophie. I lost my family years ago. Truth is, I don't really know what keeps me going. And obviously, you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Uh, <laughs> Y'all heard that? <laughs> I vote no. <laughs> Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong need. Will Torbjorn face the wheel of death for being a sad boy? <laughs> he hates Argonians? <laughs> 25 seconds, will Torbjorn survive? Will he make it? Oh my God. Get out or I'll call the guards. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was close. You trying to hide? Cause I can see you plain as day. Target acquired. <laughs> Catches us leaving. Stenvar, come on. You're gonna ruin the whole mission. I'm so proud of this community. We should do the rest of his family and just, you know. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Assorted fruits and vegetables. I don't know why I'm letting you guys make this call. <laughs> this is, I feel terrible. How will Toba go? <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> no, she's essential. We will pass your punishment on to your daughter, Nilsine. 
I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. <laughs> Which one? Father. Please, won't you buy a flower? <laughs> Sophie stays. Some of you have a heart. I'm very proud of you, chat. Now to the 46% of you. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Every time I look at you, my blood boils. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. I never expected Ulfric to live up to his legend, <laughs> but he does. She's a huge Ulfric simp. No, how'd I get caught? She's still working. No, she's doing her job well. She's still doing the wheel thing. She's 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 still, you know, the power to put millions in your bank account. A murder mystery solved, solved again, and then solved a third time. A population quelled to your liking, democracy established, and pollution is at its lowest level in years. Of course, there's probably plenty more available in Windhelm that I missed in today's video, but this was just my story. Now it's your turn and you can go whichever direction you please. Until next time, I'm probably just gonna hang out around here with my new, slightly more dead friends. I hope they don't get annoyed with me.